Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this look using the Kathleen um, palette that she collaborated with Morphe. And I'm also using her Ofra um, liquid lipstick in the color Miami Fever. I decided to use both, uh, both products just because they're in collaboration with Kathleen Light. So I hope you guys enjoy this look and if you guys are interested on how I got it, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so as you can see, I already did my um, foundation in my eyebrow. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the eye look. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be using the Morphe by Kathleen. And this is what it looks like. I was able to place my order at the, in the second round when they restocked. I think they're still in stock because I think I saw an email yesterday saying that it was still available. So... Well, to start off, I'm going to use this light shade and I'm just going to put it all over my crease just to set um, my eye primer. This is the first time I'm using the palette. I have swatched it, but I haven't used it on my eyes. For transition, I'm gonna go ahead and grab. Let's see, it's a little chalky, it has a lot of fallout, but it's still really pigmented. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this one. It does have a little shimmer, but it doesn't look too bad. gonna set that color down and then from there I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this matte shade right here I'm just using the same brush once I blend everything out then I will use a fluffier um, clean brush and I'm going for these colors because I kind of want to use um one of her Lipsticks the one that she did with Ofra. I don't know if I want to go with Havana Nights or Miami Fever So these two colors kind of do uh, go with whichever one of the lipsticks that I choose at the end depending on how it turns out Do a little bit of a close-up so that's how it's looking so far Okay, so I'm going to grab a little bit of that black. Just a little. Actually, no. I'm going to go ahead and grab this color right here. Just to not make it too harsh with the black. Because that black is pretty pigmented. So this one's close enough to black. And again, I know it looks a little intense at the beginning. But blending it out. We'll tone down the color. Go back into the, the reddish color that I picked up at first. And then I'm going to just go back in. Just to bring it out a little more. Because the black did kind of make it fade away a little. So for the lid, I'm going to use a light color, obviously, just so um, it pops. So I'm going to go in with that shimmery color that she has, the lightest color right here. And I'm going to pop that in the lid, in the lid, right in the middle. And then again, go ahead and blend it out just so it doesn't look harsh. Okay, now with a little uh, thin flat brush, I'm going to go ahead and pick up that black color. And I'm just going to line um, my top waterline, my top uh, lash line. Because I don't want to do a wing with this look. But I do want to like just define it a little. Okay. 
okay and that's what it looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my other eye and then I'll show you the lashes I'm gonna be wearing and finish up my face okay so I finished both eyes and now to finish up I'm gonna just um do my bottom lash line and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the reddish the burgundy color and i'm gonna start off in the middle i almost feel like i should use that color just for a pop should i do it i'm just gonna do it Okay, so I added that emerald color to the bottom and then just with a little um a little tiny brush I'm just gonna add the black to the outer corner okay for eyelashes I'm gonna use uh, these Ardell double up it's in the number 203 and I'm gonna try out this uh, eyelash glue from kiss the lash couture and uh, hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> okay, so this is after I added the lashes. Um, looking at it, I think I want to add some black liner to my waterline. Just because I feel like it'll make it look a little bit better. So let's zoom in. And I'm just going to use the um, It Cosmetics liner. And gently, I'm going to just... And there's the eyes the eyelashes are a little intense they are the double up but I feel like it makes it look nicer so okay so I'm gonna do my face I'm just gonna use the Lorac I'm just gonna use a Lorac uh, contour palette to bronze up my face a little I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade forehead I usually use the lighter shade I just realized that I didn't add um uh inner corner highlight which I'm gonna do right now I'm just gonna grab the light shade again the one I use on my lid sorry guys I have the sniffles I'm just gonna add it right there in the middle As you can see, it's super intense. Okay. Can't forget the inner corners. Okay, and I'm just going to use some blush. Pacifica blush. I got it in my um, Ipsy bag. This blush isn't very pigmented. Just adds a little bit of shimmer. You know what? Just because I realized that that highlight was so nice in the inner corner, I'm actually going to use it on my face. So I'm going to grab my uh, Morphe fan brush, it's the M310, and I'm just going to dab it onto there. Okay, and for the lips, I'm going to use the Kathleen uh, Miami Fever by Ofra. I'm so excited. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna tie in the look. Perfect. Okay. 
Okay guys, so this is the final look using the Kathleen uh, Morphe palette and the Ofra um, Miami Fever. Two collaborations that she's had in the past. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the look. I try to keep it super simple. I always say that, but to me it's simple. Um, it just looks super intense because of the eyelashes I chose to put. But if you chose um, smaller lashes, then obviously, obviously it would look a little less toned down. But I like it. I like how it turned out. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this look. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!